So, Pearl, uh, second opinion, why it's so great. For me, it's just the ideal workflow in order for me to diagnose my patients and have the effective communication tools available for me to be able to speak to them. So usually I would have taken a bite wing, um, it wouldn't have had anything on it, it just looks black and white, an x-ray, and I would be pointing to a patient saying, do you see that grey triangle there? Well, that's tooth decay and that's a bit of calculus. And I know, just like most patients, they would have been sat there going, having not a clue what I was pointing at. Whereas now, with second opinion, it just made life so much easier. I first start off by explaining to the patient the different tooth parts. This is where I always begin and I'll say, the purple and the green are parts of the teeth that you can actually see in your mouth. And I'll show them on the iTero after I've done scanning saying, this is this. And that's the parts of the teeth that you can see, the purple and the green. The blue and the red are hidden under the bone line. You can't see that and that's the roots and the nerves of the tooth. The purple is the enamel and the green is the dentine, the soft part of the tooth. What this technology will show us with second opinion is where you have active tooth decay. And tooth decay is sometimes barely visible to a patient, whereas with second opinion, it's highlighting in pink. And I say to the patients, you see the bits in pink, that's tooth decay. However, don't worry, you know, you can see quite a lot of it. However, when the pink is in the purple, it's okay. With good oral hygiene, good flossing, fluoride treatment, that can arrest, and that doesn't need a filling. However, when you have the pink that goes into the green, that's unrepairable, we have to do a filling. What I find is by just having a simple image like that, explaining it to the patient, this is what we see, this is actively what is going on in your mouth, rather than trying to show them in their mouth, oh, do you see this in your mouth? Or even on the itero, if we see a shadow, we can then explain what that shadow actually means. And what I find as a clinician, the take up of treatment is so much higher, but more importantly, the acceptance, the patients understand that it's not a want, it's a need. And in the future, if they decide not to go ahead, we can take another x-ray and we'll be able to show them how it's increasing. So for me, this is a great technology tool for, I think, all dentists to have in their settings. I think it's going to be the norm in not in too far future. And I truly believe that if I didn't have this tool, I wouldn't be as confident when I communicate with my patients on where tooth decay is and whether or not they actually accept what I'm saying, or they just think I'm another greedy dentist trying to do a false filling. There's one other thing, as a clinic owner, what I found and I've tested is, I turn this off sometimes, so I can't see the caries, for example, and I sit there and I think to myself, what parts of this would I have actually identified as decay? And we have actually tested it, that when it comes up and shows me that that is decay, we have actually gone in and had a look on the patients. And every single patient that I've actually gone and investigated, if that is actually decay, it's been decay. And I'm not even kidding, it's been 100% of the time. So that is proving that the technology can see a, a, a much wider range of greys than what our human eyes can. So, without doubt, I think it should be a necessity for all dental clinics to have, and we use it here at Love Teeth across all the sites, and every single associate so far has come back saying, it's great and I can't believe we haven't had it sooner.